Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Arimula Badmas. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So in this video, we are going to try to write our first test. And like I said, that I would get a desired URL where we are going to test from. So we are going to move um, from here to um, this. This is what we are going to use. And um, the site looks like this. let me show you that again this is what it looks like so it's a place where a customer can log in just by putting in their name and all and um where um the bank manager too can log in and check private customers and create new accounts so what you're going to try to do here is just launch this page and log in first as a bank manager and we would add a customer once we add the customer we would also come back and open an account for that particular customer we have to make sure that the customer also shows up here and um, we create an account for it so and once the account is created we come back to the customer tab and delete that customer so those are the acts that we're going to do so let's try to do that this let's try to just launch the page here and click on the bank manager login for the first time so that's the test that we're going to do because ideally well this can easily just launch the te the page for us as you can see it's trying to launch the page and that's it the page is launched right but what we want to do is we also want to click a button on it so let's quickly do that by going into our file after doing this let's just say uh, open the bank and um, this one will be click manager login manager login right and that can just be done by saying cy dot get the element that we want which we will get in there and we'll click it so let's um, identify the element by inspecting it so i can just right click on it and inspect or i can just click command option i if i'm using if you're using a mac system you can just click command option i and it would open it for you so here i click on the bank manager button and what do i have here so i can just call that button let's see if this would be a problem if they are named the same way then we need to find okay yes they are named the same way so we have an issue here so i'm going to go ahead and just use one of the beauties of cypress I will just use the text to get it or I can use this the one of the attributes so let's copy this and put here in our CSS and expert checker and see if this would give us what we need yes it gives us what we need so we can use this or we can use one of the Cypress um, features that would just it's, it's really really nice so we can do this copy i will show you the three methods right now so the first method is what we have here we've already copied that so okay so let me just put this there this this now um let's put this there Let's put this attribute there and if we run this it will still click it as you can see it has clicked it let's run it again it has clicked right now another way to identify it is uh, by using the bank manager uh, what's it called by changing this one to cy.contain so say cy.contains and what does it contain 
the text we can use this to also identify it and it will give us the same result as you can see it has done successfully because it is on auto save it just continues to update our test source and it works so the last way that we can do it is since both are buttons and let me see here too this one too is also a button but it has a different name so let's go back to this button and this button they have the same class attribute so we can still use that class attribute so i'll cause this to fail so you can understand it better so we go back to soi.get yes so we remove the content of the square bracket and we'll place that of the class there so now we expect an error because there are two elements that has that particular value but let's quickly just inspect this from inside our cypress script let's inspect it and go to the console i will clear what's in the console now so if i click on this again see it returns two but it returns it as a list is inside each other it returns it as a list so we can want to identify the first one uh, the one that we are looking for by uh, just looking for the the text that is there the first child is text and it is customer login so this is the first one which has an index zero so definitely the second one we can scroll down again and just know the text in it You can know the text in it and the text is bank manager which is the one that i want to click so which means that the index of one is will be um, useful to us so what we just need to do is go into our code and how can we reference this index we use the command eq and we put just the index one there so if we do this now and we run it you see that it opens the bank manager for us do it's still telling us it got two, but you picked the first one of it. As you can see, as I'm highlighting on it, it is showing what has been found. As I highlighted on it, it's highlighted on both buttons. But when I came to one, it only highlighted on the bank manager login. So this way, these are the uh, ad additional features that Cypress brings to the table. So there are different ways by which you can get your elements. So you can outrightly look for a unique attribute of that particular button or of that particular element like we did here we look for a unique value which is of uh, the ng click attribute right and we use it to identify it and we also use the text to identify it inside the press and in another place we use the index of it because it exists in several places so we use the index of it to identify it so with this done in the next video we will be doing more of our tests but in that video we will run it manually we will run our test manually and i would exp you would understand you'll be able to understand why it is very important to first run your test manually before you begin to write your code so thank you for getting this far and see you in the next video please do not forget to like and subscribe bye bye